Hey guys, Driver Bar here with the Driver Bar and Vlogs. Uh, I'm doing things a little different today, so you're not seeing me on the screen. Um, <clears throat> my friend Gene is still having problems with some stuff in Cakewalk, and I decided I would do another tutorial. I'm not sure that anything in this tutorial is actually going to solve his problem, but um, this is getting back to the same thing I had in one of my other tutorials where I was bringing in um, every rose has its thorn into Cakewalk. And I've noticed something uh, about Cakewalk that's kind of weird is that it does not default with a master fader, which is a little unusual because most dolls do that without having to do, well, Actually, let me rewind. That's not true because Pro Tools being the standard doll of choice, you do have to create that master fader. But everything still is running through the master fader on Pro Tools, whether you can see it or not. Whereas in Cakewalk, that is not the case. So let me see if I can show you what I'm talking about. Okay, I'm going to open up the program. Now, when you get a new project, you've got templates here. So if you go to a basic template, okay, so it changed the sample rate for me automatically because I'm already running something at 4800, uh, which makes sense. But <laughs> What I've discovered about Cakewalk is these templates actually come with a little bit of pre-programmed stuff in here. If you go down to the console, the master bus right here, the metronome, and whatever this preview is, that they're putting those things in there for you automatically so you don't have to do that. Um, everyone really should have a master fader because the master fader allows us to put EQ across the whole track or compression across the whole track or whatever things that we might want to put across the entire track. So let me show you what I'm talking about where it does not come with a master fader automatically and let me show you how to change that. So I'm going to close this out. I've got every rose has its thorn here. I'm going to open it just like I did before. So this comes just as a you know what comes with that but it's it's a blank template it doesn't give you any of the pre-programmed buses over here like you saw just a second ago so everything is running through my um my 11 rack that i'm using right now to monitor if i hit play right now I can hear it. You're not going to be able to hear it because I'm using a separate program to record. So I, I can actually change that. But that's not really the point of this tutorial. So I'm not going to change that right this second. What I want to do right now is insert, create a stereo bus. Okay. It's going to default it to bus A. We're going to change that to master. You don't have to call it master. You can call it anything you want to. I can call it, I don't know, doofus. It doesn't matter. Um, <clears throat> now what we, what we want to do here is right click. Let's see. Yeah, right click over you got to find the right spot. It's kind of funny, but there's a certain spot you got to right click. Um, I just saw it. All right. It says to set as default bus. So set that as default bus. 
Now this acts as your master fader. So if you insert another audio track, track nine, it's automatically run into Doofus now. Okay, what I want to do is change this Cakewalk TTS to also run to Doofus. Now Doofus is running out to my 11 rack, which runs out to my headphones. But since I'm recording this, I've actually got to run it a different way for you to hear it, which I'm going to change that, but that is not something you need to do. Um, because this is only for me running it to another program to record. So now, if I play this, everything goes through this master fader. And now that I have a master fader, I can put like an EQ or a compressor right here. I could compress the entire track or whatever. That's why you really need a master fader. Okay, so now I've already showed this in that other video, but I'm going to show this one more time. I'm going to put a soft synth drum track in here. Okay, so now the, the the drum track is going to Doofus, and then Doofus is going out to my headphones. And I think drums were on track seven, I believe. So I changed that to to the SI drum kit. Now if I single out just this. Let's see if that's the drums. Okay, so you see the drums are going out to Doofus. And um, the Doofus is going out to the headphones. So, I'm not sure if that fixes his problem or not, but I just wanted to kind of show that so you would understand that Cakewalk is not automatically creating that master fader when you do this. So you do probably want to create that. Um, anyway, guys, I hope you enjoyed. Like, subscribe.